Smoke is the best rushdown character by far in Mortal Kombat 1. Zoning him is impossible and his mix-ups are ridiculous. His only weakness is low damage unless you master his vapor combos, at which point his damage is just as good as any other character. So without any further ado, here's a fast guide on Smoke that teaches you all you need to know. But if you have any tips on Smoke, then make sure to comment them down below so we can learn together. And also request which character you want to see next. And now, let's begin. First up, we have Vicious Vapors, because this special move separates the men from the boys. By default, it's just some decent damage and also goes right through projectiles, even if done at the last second. And then if you want to spin the bar, you get a bit more damage, but no extra invincibility from what I've tested. So in my opinion, the EX version is not worth it most of the time. However, here comes the most ridiculous part. If you press back and block while approaching the opponent, you will cancel out of this move, which allows you to do a bunch of things. For starters, it can be a great mix-up. Go for a throw or just another low overhead 50-50, the opponent's going to have a tough time blocking that. Or if you're a true master, canceling this move can extend combos, and here is where you get really good damage with Smoke. Once you master Vapor combos, Smoke has some respectable damage combos, and that's why it's so important to master the timing. The key is to wait until Smoke actually does the Vicious Vapors and then do the cancel. If you try doing it early, it's not going to work. Alright, next up, let's talk Smoke Port. This attack switches sides and hits low, which makes it a very annoying mix-up because Smoke has overheads mid-string. Well, guess what? Now instead of an overhead, it's a low, which is tough to react to. And then if you want to spend some bar, you can follow up with an air combo, which can do some really good damage, especially with some clever cameo summons. However, do be warned, this move is super unsafe on block, so be careful. If the opponent blocks this, they can hit you with a full combo. However, here's the weird part. It just like Deadly Vapors, you can cancel this move by simply holding forward, which is not that great when done on the ground, but with the air teleport, look at that. I'm right in the opponent's face. Unlike Vicious Vapors, I can't attack immediately. I'm gonna hold up to show you. That's how long it takes to recover, so it's not instant. However, with the help of certain cameos, you can still make your approach completely safe. So yeah, this teleport cancel definitely has some uses. Next up, we have Smoke Bomb. This attack hits overhead, which can make it a very annoying 50-50 when mixed in with Smoke Smoke's teleport. The opponent's never going to know how to block. Some strings have overheads and lows, then lows and overheads, and then on top of that, his special moves are also a 50-50. I was not joking when I said this character has mix-ups, but here's the craziest part. The EX version turns him invisible, and he can attack on the way down. Or in other words, if you spin the bar, this move is the stuff of nightmares. Now, thankfully, Smoke does not stay invisible for very long, but even so, this man has overhead starters, low combo starters, his throws can do decent damage too, and don't forget, some cameo characters have throws that start combos, so yeah, Smoke can be deadly when combined with characters like Cyrax. Even if done during a block string, this mix-up can catch the opponent off guard. If they're not ready for the Smoke Bomb, they're gonna eat that jump in, and then be forced to block whatever 50-50 comes next. And then finally, last but not least, we have Shadow Blade. This attack is great as an anti-air, but also great for ending combos after particular strings, like 4-2-1-1-3. Even if you launch the opponent in the air, this string will restand them, which means the final attack is a guaranteed. Pull them back in, and look, they're right in front of my face, and I'm at frame advantage, which means they have to block whatever I do next. And you might be thinking, well, what if they do an armored attack? That will beat any mix-up you go for, and you would be right if not for cameos being in this game. If timed correctly, I can have Sector's missile come down right as the opponent is getting up. Check this out. Boom, two hits back to back, there's no way armor was going to escape that, unless there's a character with two hits of armor in this game. That might be the case, but for everyone else, they pretty much have to block this setup, which is insane to me. Because once again, on paper, every single combo can be ended with this string, which guarantees the up dagger, which guarantees more pressure on block, especially if you have a cameo to lock the opponent down with an extra hit. I wasn't joking when I said Smoke is the best rushdown character in the game. Not only does he have mix-ups on top of mix-ups, but every single combo he does ends with guaranteed pressure, which makes him a nightmare for the opponent. Now, of course, you can also spend a meter on this move if you want to, but it seems like all you get is a bit more damage, which could be worth it if it wins the round, but outside of that, I don't recommend it. And that's it for the special moves, so now finally, it's time for the attack strings. First up, we have the punish combo, 1-1-1-4. One, 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 the last two hits are dial-in, which means you have to have fast fingers if you want maximum damage, and also keep in mind that the 
the third hit can be special cancelled, but the fourth hit cannot. And then to make things even stranger, even if you do a vapor cancel, the third hit is not good enough to keep the combo going. You're not plus at all, which is a shame. And in fact, everything after the first hit is not fast enough to get a cameo combo either. So if you want a cameo combo for max damage, then just do the first hit and then call in your cameo. For whatever reason, that's your best punish combo most of the time, because if you do a vapor cancel, you can't guarantee this launcher. The second hit does not have enough stun, the third hit does not have enough stun, so you must do the first hit into cameo. Or if you want to, just to flash on the opponent, you could do something like this. But the damage is not that great, so once again, just the first hit into cameo is one of your best punish options. But then next up, we have forward 1-2, which is a bit slower and can only punish things minus 11 or more, but the cool thing is, it can actually vapor cancel for really good damage. And then on top of that, as you saw earlier, it's also great for ending strings because it can guarantee the up dagger, which pulls the opponent in close and keeps the pressure going. But now it's time for the mix-up strings, and smoke has a lot. First up is 2-1-2. It ends in an overhead, but guess what? You can cancel the third hit into a teleport, and now it's a sneaky low. And if you want to spend a meter on that low, you now get a full combo. When combined with cameos, it's going to be even more damage. But of course, we're nowhere close to being done. Next up, we have 4, 3, 2, 4. Overhead, low, overhead. And yes, the final hit can be switched out for a teleport, which is a 50 50. The overhead does not lead to a full combo, whereas the low absolutely can, so if your opponent is smart, they're just gonna keep blocking low the whole time. Now that being said, you can always vapor cancel and go for a throw, or a second low, or an overhead, all that nonsense, so the opponent never really knows how to block if you're skilled enough. And of course, there's an overhead mix-up as well. Back, two, three, Four. The second hit is a low, but if you want to, you could cancel into the smoke bomb and now it's a low overhead, or just turn invisible instead and attack on the way down for even more mix-ups, go for a throw, all that ridiculousness. Or if you prefer, you can cancel the second hit into his up dagger for some very easy damage that keeps the opponent really close for more guaranteed pressure. And also keep in mind, smoke becomes invulnerable when he disappears. He can go through projectiles and other stuff of that nature. So yeah, this move is fantastic for getting in. As you can see, Smoke has mix-ups on top of mix-ups, and finally he has a unique poke string, down 3, down 4, but as you can see, neither one of them combos. Instead, they're mainly just to be annoying to the opponent. They can't start combos, but they could special cancel in theory, so go for a low, or go for an overhead if you prefer. I messed up the input. Oh, I guess you can't do the overhead there. Yes, you can. I'm just bad. So yes, you can go for an overhead or a low mix-up there, but keep in mind, neither one combo. This is just a poke. It's not a combo string. And then finally, we have Face Walk. This move is super interesting, because for one, any of the attacks can be special cancelled. I recommend cancelling the second hit if you want a full combo, because otherwise, you're gonna have to get creative with your cameo summons. And that's because the teleport's not actually fast enough to combo after the third hit. But get this, on block, this attack is plus eight. Yeah, plus eight. Or in other words, it guarantees this mix-up. It can guarantee this setup as well. It can't guarantee this because this move is a bit too slow, but hey, if the opponent's scared already and they're just blocking because they want to block, then you can still force this mix-up after they block this string. Forward four is quite good as a tool for getting in. It's honestly quite ridiculous. Has fantastic range too, so yeah, pretty good tool for getting in. I think back two might be better for avoiding stuff, but forward four guarantees pressure on block, which is crazy. Oh yeah, and standing one is also a decent anti-air that can lead to a full combo. I gotta make sure to mention that too. And then finally, we have Smoke's Fatal Blow, which tracks the opponent's location and teleports to avoid keep away and zoning. And on top of that, it's faster than it looks, so it's great for ending combos, especially after Ford 1-2, 1 plus 3. After that string, the Fatal Blow is pretty much guaranteed. But outside of that, yeah, we're pretty much done with the smoke guide. He is the rushdown king of Mortal Kombat 1. He's got 50-50s in his strings, he has 50-50s in his special moves, he can cancel out of his specials for even more pressure, and on top of all of that, every combo he does ends in more guaranteed pressure and can force you to block more mix-ups. Oh, and also he's a middle finger to keep away, because he can teleport on reaction to anything, he can do vicious vapors on reaction to any projectile in the game. Or in other words, your opponent can't spam against smoke, they're gonna get launched 
dodge for a full combo every single time, which is downright terrifying, and yeah, this character is just amazing. His only weakness is below average damage if you don't master his vapor cancels, and also every special move is unsafe on block unless you cancel out of it successfully. So in the hands of a noob, smoke can be quite risky, but if you're a skilled player, you'll never do anything risky on block anyway. Or in other words, smoke is top 5 in this game. Or at least he looks like it. His rushdown is unmatched, he has guaranteed frame advantage and pressure, combined with certain cameos, he's gonna be a nightmare. But there you have it everyone, all you need to know about Smoke in Mortal Kombat 1. If you enjoyed my guide, please leave a like down below, it really does help my channel out a ton, and then keep that combo going by subscribing and ringing that bell, that way you never miss any future videos. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs!